Hey there guys, it's me the Don Fanatic, and welcome to week 8 of season 3 of the Pokemon Premier League Division 1. This week, uh, we are facing RTK and the Portland Port Portland Portland Timbers, um, obviously coached by RTK623. Now, after our very successful 4-0 of Shroom Raver last week, sorry if I spoiled that for you, but the video is up on the channel. Uh, we're playing RTK, who um, last season did very well finished very close second to Shroom, I think, um, and was very solid. This season hasn't didn't start off too well for him, but it's picked up. Uh, his team's pretty fat, not going to lie. Uh, he was missing a lot of offense until he drafted in Mega uh, Medicham, which, uh, honestly, super duper scary um, for my team. And literally, I'll quickly go over what I have. I have Adamant Scarf, uh, Dimantan, because it cleans up once, Milotic and Rotom are gone. Uh, Nido King, physically offensive to punch holes. Substitutes, leftovers, uh, Heliolisk to deal with Milotic and just hitting things hard. Physically defensive Skarmory was one few ways I had to take on Medicham. Uh, uh, was it Kevia Berry, um, Floor just because I was pretty confident he was going to bring the Poison Jab on Medicham. And physically defensive uh, Gastrodon because it dealt with the heat, uh, Rotom Heat very well. Anyway, get into the game. Uh, I have in-game sound this time because I've got to turn the music off and I can't be asked to re-record it. He started off with, he uh, I keep wanting to call it Heatran. Um, Rotom Heat. And uh, I don't want to play any games here. He's probably got the Hidden Power Grass, but I don't think he'd do it first turn. Uh, because getting damage off on Demantan would be nice. I didn't want to risk it because I knew Demantan would be important uh, for this game, potentially. Um, so in comes the Milotic. Much like last week when Shroom bought in his um, Jellicent, I was pretty much expecting this. I know it's going to be a trade for Marvel Scale, but hey, Toxic on anything is nice, unless it has Toxic Heal, of course. Um, so I wasn't too upset by the fact I had poisoned this, because I have got Physical Nido King with Thunder Punch, and I have Heliodist, which can take this on, and I can just generally out-bulk it. Now it's poisoned. Um, here he goes for the Icy Wind. I don't know what he was expecting me to do at that point point. Um, maybe it's all he had that could hit Gastrodon. Um, he probably knew that I didn't have much to hit him either. Um, obviously, both Gastrodon and Helisk have water immunities, which kind of stop this thing from doing things. Uh, he goes for Toxic here, which was annoying at the time. Uh, I kind of started to worry a bit because this thing needs to be as healthy as possible um, to help take on the Mega Medicham because Moonblast one-shots without any special attack investment. Uh, it just one-shots, which is fantastic. Um, so I need to keep um, my floor just at the health it is for now uh, for a uh, Medicham. Like, when, when he kills something off, I need to be able to bring this in and uh, hit him. So he actually traces my Flaveil. Here he goes into his, uh, his Gardevoir, uh, which I think is bulky. Um, I don't really get to see. Uh, I bring in Vimto. Oh, here I sat there and umdenard for a while. Uh, I, considering that the Rotom was offensive, I kind of thought this thing's probably going to be defensive, which is why I felt I could go for the Volt Switch, but I did debate as to whether it was offensive or defensive, because uh, if he was Scarf, he would outspeed me. But he actually goes for the Wish here. Um, maybe wanting to try and get it in on Milotic. Made me think he wouldn't have a cover on it, but then I thought, why would you bring in Milotic, a defensive one, without recover? You kind of need it. Uh, he's obviously fearing the Iron Head, which is why he goes out into Rotom. It's generally a good switch anyway, because uh, obviously Brave Bird wouldn't do much because of the Electro-Typing. And Iron Head would be quad-resisted, but I don't have it. I use it as my chance to get out my rocks, because I know once Mandibuzz is gone, he can't get rid of them. And Rotom Heat will not like these rocks at all. Uh, I think Nidoking's a good middle ground switch here. It gives me offensive prowess. If he wanted to go for Volt Switch, obviously it would stop him. Uh, Hidden Power, I was expecting Hidden Power Grass, so obviously... Uh, if you wanted to go for that, it'd be neutral and we take it well. I am Naughty Nature, which is why it does a fair amount. Uh, he thinks Mandibuzz is a switch in. Ladies and gentlemen, Mandibuzz is not a switch in. Um, he hit, takes a hit from Poison Jab. And that does about half. I don't know if this is defensive. I can't remember what the calcs were. But I knew that basically any combination of Ice Beam, Thunderbolt, Thunder Punch, Ice Punch, uh, Poison Jab will kill this thing after rocks. Um, I felt like I had to switch moves here because he could have switched into the uh, Bishop. I could have um, hidden the fact that I was uh, Life Orb. I could have obviously pretended to be Scarfed at this point. Uh, in comes the Scarfed Bishop. Um, yeah, I live on 9. The fact that he wasn't Life Orb meant, obviously, that I could live. Um, 
but if he wasn't Scarfed, I would have outsped him. I think a Scarfed, unless I missed something in team building. Um, I am going to die to Life Orb Recall, because obviously Earthquake doesn't get boosted by Sheer Force. But I was willing to, uh, I was happy to take that trade, because Bisharp was his main way of taking down Florgius. Uh, the only thing you can do now is bring in Mega Medicham and potentially Poison Jab or Bullet Punch. But obviously, I'm way more scared of the bullet, uh, Poison Jab, because it's going to do more. Um, now, I know after Rocks that Medicham is going to die if he's got no defense or HP investment. Um, and I have no special attack investment. I'm going to click Protected just in case he goes for the Fake Out. Because Fake Out, Poison Jab with Toxic probably could take me out. I didn't do the Calcs, but I didn't want to risk it. I just thought, you know, Protect. He could have obviously subbed. If he had sub, I would have probably lost right there and then. Um, but he gets the Poison Jab now. He's obviously either going to do it again or he's going to expect my switch out into Skarmory. So I'm pretty confident I can stay in. He does go for Thunder Punch. Predicting my switch out to Skarmory. But I had the Berry, so I wasn't too afraid just to stay in and click Moonblast and ladies and gentlemen the thing I was worried about the most what I bought for it worked perfectly so now RTK is down 3 mon already we are on the front foot again and this is pretty much what happened against Shroom we were able to get 3 kills relatively quickly um, and that put him on the back foot now obviously his defog is gone so everything's going to be taking rock damage he actually gets the hidden power here hidden power grass um, I don't know if I agree with that play mainly because uh eh. I wasn't going to switch out. This thing's done its job. I can let it die. My wall's going to handle what he has left. It lets me get a last ditch wish off. Um, which means that I can now get a free switch into anything, basically. If he wants to stay in and keep on hidden power grassing, uh, it's fine. But I have a free switch into Vimto. Uh, I could have clicked sub here. But the switch into Gardevoir was obvious because that's the best thing he has to take this on now. So I'm going to just click Thunderbolt because I need damage off on this thing. Um, and this is Timid Max Special Attack. I was worried it wouldn't do much because I'd done the calcs. This thing's surf wouldn't kill Domfan. I was a bit confused as to why. Um, but Thunderbolt, based on the damage it done before leftovers, I figured it might kill after leftovers. I wasn't so sure. I don't know if this is a roll or not, but I felt like I could have obviously lived a hit from this thing unless I had Focus Blast. But because it was defensive, I doubt it did. Sideshot come out done a lot, that's for sure. But I am at full health now. Uh, he can bring in Easy Bake, that's fine. Pretty sure he's going to go for the overheat here, so I'm going to go out into Gastrodon. I've played around this thing perfectly so far. Um, so I didn't feel too upset about losing this thing now if I had to. He does go for the overheat. Overheat wouldn't have actually killed Heliolisk anyway, and I could have just stayed in and clicked Surf. Um, but Heliolisk was way too important for the Milotic. Now all he has left is this and Milotic at half health. Um, all I have to do here is switch into my Heliolisk and I win. Because he's at minus 2, overheat without the minus 2 does about 70% max, so 35%. Uh, I can get a free sub, I have leftover, so I'll regain health anyway. I'm going to pull the double, because I know I do not gain anything by staying in and clicking Scald. Um, I'm going to pull the double out into Heliolisk, and basically, all that happens now is I have to worry about Thunderbolt killing. Um, I clicked Thunderbolt, and I was like, ah, oh, crap, he might have the Miracle. But if he does have the Miracle, uh, the Mantan just wins from here. Because, spoilers, Max Defense Myotic doesn't like offensive Damantan. Well, I say offensive Damantan. All Damantans are offensive. But he goes to the Icy Wind here trying to, well, get some damage off. And I was like, phew, thank you for that. Um, but I am still going to outspeed this thing because of my speed investment. And assuming he's defensive, uh, I can just, you know, get get a kill on this thing. Uh, he doesn't die to Toxic, which is nice. Which means Helios can take him down. Now, at the point in the game, I was like, I should have Volt Switch to preserve some differential. But then looking at the calcs, um, I take an overheat absolutely fine. Dry skin doesn't matter that much because while it does have dry skin, it only takes like an extra 10% damage. Um, and healing this special defense is pretty bulky. So I'm able to stay in, obviously, with the range of health it is at. It is weak to surf, and I am able just to click surf. He goes for hidden power grass in case I switch out into Gastrodon. Whatever he clicked, he couldn't win. Uh, pretty much the same as Shroom. Same scenario. He has a scarf at the end. I'm immune or resist any hit he wants to lock himself into, and I can just easily win. So that's a 4-0 win against RTK. That went way better than I could have hoped for, because um, I was really, really, really scared of Mega Medicham, but we handled it just as I had planned to handle it. Uh, he bought the team that I had prepped for, so I wasn't caught out by anything. Um, I figured out his sets quickly, and I got on the front foot, which meant I was able to dictate the game pretty well. Um, so that takes us to 6 and 2 now. I won't spoil any of the other results because I don't know if the games or videos have gone live or not yet. 
but um, we're still pushing on for a space in the top. I mean, I'm fourth at the moment, and that's only because we've got Shardy, who, uh, oh, right, he won again. Um, he's on six and two. Trav hasn't played at this point yet, and uh, Sam, spoilers if you don't want to know what's happening, Sam actually lost this week um, to Alex, um, but I won't give away anything else because I don't want to ruin the game for you. So if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you check out the PPL links and RTK's links in the description below. Um, he'll obviously have his side of the battle up, he also makes great videos. PPL obviously has analyst stuff. I know we've been a bit behind on that recently. We've had to try and find more power rankings, people, and uh, and such, because people are busy. Um, otherwise, make sure you go check out all my other PPL videos and every other video. Not like I upload much, anyway. Um, but all I can say is thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you next week when we take on the Eternal City Enders. We need revenge for last season. He beat me 1-0 with a roll uh, in the first game of the season. So I'm looking forward to it. Um, and hopefully you guys will too. Um, so yeah, that's Necro and the Eternal City Enders. Anyway, I will see you guys later. Bye!